guys, so I'm back today with another wee food haul. Today, it's majority of it is from Lidl's and then a little bit from Iceland as well. And I literally just needed to pop into Iceland for something they didn't have in Lidl's. And there's a couple of good things that I picked up as well. In total, I've spent £130 and there's quite a lot of meat, quite a lot of stuff and things that I can make. I've got to chat through all the meal ideas for you. And of course, as usual, there'll be a meal idea video that'll follow up. So make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see that. But I'm gonna get cracking. I've got my little helper, as you can hear in the background. She's eating everything as we unpack. But I'm gonna get cracking because I've loads of kind of like frozen bits and pieces that I need to pack away as well. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what all I picked up. And Missy, I think I'm gonna have to put you into the other room. You are so noisy. Are you taking over? Are you taking over? Yes. Yeah, you taking over? Yeah. So that is all the stuff like Iceland and then store cupboards and then. We'll go over to the meats here and I'll talk you through them. So £10 off the little total was actually on a waffle maker and that was £10. I've had a few of their electrics before and they've been really good. I know it's one of those kind of novelty type things but I thought even if we'll give it a whirl a good few times. Um, so I'm going to have to look up a wee waffle mix. I've never done it before. So we'll have those at the weekend. That'll be fun. Then um, I got a chicken. They're large chickens, usually about four ninety nine or five pound. I'm going to do a red Thai chicken curry, and well, I'm going to have red Thai chicken curry, and I'll maybe put prawns in the Thai for the children. I prefer chicken. Then for this evening, Alistair and I are going to have the beef sizzle steaks, Texas style. Haven't tried these before. These were only three pound fifty. And usually with cheaper steak or cheaper meat, I will do it in a panini and marinate it down. But there's already a rub on that. So we're going to have that with mushrooms and onions tonight in a panini because, like I said, he's late. And then for the children, they're going to have, I'm going to do them sweet corn fritters. And they're going to have a bit of a side salad. So separate dinners for that. Then I've got three packs of the steak mints. They're out of the 5%. So I've got 12% fat. Just that's in the middle. So I can use that for several different dishes. Um, and I'm thinking of actually tomorrow, I've never made tacos on a Tuesday, it's a running joke in our house, so I might actually do the tacos on a Tuesday. I'll pop that into one of the meal idea videos because we actually make mini tacos and I do them in like a Yorkshire pudding tray for the children um, with tortilla wraps. So I'll show you that, but they'd be really good for that. And again, there'll be another meal, probably this the usual meatballs. They always like meatballs, don't they? Um, then I've got some diced ham. That would be nice even in quesadillas. If I have some leftover chicken, I'll do that for lunch someday. But for omelettes and things like that. Then I've just got a couple of chicken fillet breasts. And I've got loads actually in the freezer of the chicken. So this actually with the chorizo, they're going to be two separate meals. So I'm going to use half the chicken just to make some chicken skewers for barbecue. And I'm going to put, you know, pepper, onion, a bit of chorizo, and then some chicken. So do skewers on that, and then I'll use the other half of the chicken for something else. Then for the Sunday roast, we've got a beef roast and joint. That was £12.32, which is really good for that weight. And I will do two dinners out of that as well. Because of this heat, I usually do like a shepherd's pie or something, but because of this heat... Well, it wouldn't be a shepherd's pie because it's beef. What would cottage pie? Cottage pie, um, or Cornish pasty or something. But because of this heat, I think we'll have it something different. I'll think up then. Um, just for the freezer, four chunky cod fillets. They're only two pound fifty in there, and they are the hundred percent fish fillets. That's the only I would buy. Um, and I thought have that as a backup in the freezer. Then Dylan and Lola, they'll have this probably at the weekend. They love cooked mussels in tomato sauce. So I'll just that, uh, add that into spaghetti. So Alistair and I maybe eat out or have a takeaway. And it's only Dylan and Lola that will eat that. The youngest boys aren't fussed on the mussels. And then with the rest of the treats, so and the chicken, I'm going to do a paella. So that will be two meals out of that. We've got two meals out of the roast beef. Then normally I make the burgers or I go to a local butcher's, but I fancy these. They are six quick cook Irish beef burgers and that was in their barbecue range and it was really good price for everything. So I thought I'd pick that up and we'll have that with the kebabs. So whether we have the full six burgers or not, I don't know. Then pork loin steaks. I actually only had these, I think, was it last week or the week before from there? And they're on offer at the minute to, I think it's £3 or something they are, maybe actually less. And I did them really lovely with caramelised onions. So this week I'm going to do them with Dijon mustard and do them like nice and slow cooked with whiskey and make it really nice and saucy. So we'll have those definitely this week. Then just as a backup to have these um, unsmoked gammon steaks. So there's four there. 
and usually the youngest children will just have half each and they will have it with champ and loads of vegetables and all and Alistair and I'll have one each then just for the fridge we've got some honey roast ham that'll be for sandwiches then we've got ready pre-sliced so I've got all my full blocks of cheese in the fridge already so mild white cheddar and then some smoked cheese as well and in case we make any homemade pizzas just to have little whoop, little bits and pieces like that then their take on like Philadelphia that spread it's literally 50p Pearl loves that with bread sticks and things like that mini mozzarella the children will have that with their sweet corn fritters a little bit of side salad very small amounts but I just picked up 200 grams of the unsalted butter and 200 grams of the normal butter I'll be baking so I think I'm gonna make haven't made it in a while um, raspberry brownie so it's actually a white mix like a vanilla mix so I'm gonna try that I think maybe within the next couple of days one of these apricot yogurts I think our yogurt makers broken so pick that up and um, then for the freezer we've got the mini mix so that's like the mini magnums you get 12 of those for about two pound see these never tried these before they are um cheeky caramel so they're wee mini tubs in case it doesn't pick up a camera i picked those up and i thought dylan and lola can have a wee tub each when they're up late at the weekend because it is it's the last week of school so i let them stay up really late just and then the split pot crunch yogurt as well and then this yogurt drink i picked up just because i think our yogurt maker's broken so this will do us the next couple of days in yogurts anyway and then 12 free range eggs which i think are about two pound in there so that is those bits so I don't have it very organized because I really literally just really really need to get it in the freezer so I have tons of fruit and veg to pick up like I said I only really go every two days and once the kids clock off we'll be in the shops every day so two peppers they will just be in general for side salads and bits and pieces then these little um, small potatoes, I think in case I do like pork chops or something, but we'll always use those. I might do dauphinois potatoes, we'll see what, what Alistair's kind of working this week. Then the mini apples, they'll do us two days, so I need to get those again. Grapes, they were, I think they were about pound fifty. Then mushrooms, one of those will do for an omelette, the other is for our steak panini tonight. Little um, baby corn bunch of bananas we'll do one day and um, little gem lettuce and then fruit wise just literally little basics here small tubs really so we've got raspberries blackberries and strawberries the strawberries are quite a good price in there at the minute well they are everywhere at the minute then two avocados and that'll be for lunches and if i'm making them a side salad with the sweet corn fritters tonight i'll do little mix of mini mozzarella avocado that kind of thing and then because i'm baking this is really good this white chocolate if you're into your baking so you get 200 grams of that and that'll be chopped up with the raspberries and maybe a mix of strawberries in the brownies but like i said it's white brownies castor sugar i think i'm running low on that then a jar of the sun-dried tomatoes i love that just in sandwiches with ham and things like that um last shop i did i got the chocolate spread so that's the first time i'd veered away from nutella so surprised how nice it actually was and the difference in price so it's really only the children that would eat that so we're running with that and i thought obviously for the waffles that would be handy and then for the waffles again i do have maple syrup in the cupboard but i was just really i love this bottle 1.25 sweet glass bottle and maple syrup i've seen loads of this range the McKennedy is it no McKenna american way and if you're into kind of like convenience food or like the fake away kentucky's the tons of that kind of stuff in the freezers is worth looking out if that's your thing and then they're just the paninis or actually they're little mini baguettes sorry that's what we're having this evening some bagels we will need loads of bread as well and these are a bit squashed from the packing we have got eight brioche buns i'll try and fix those up they'll either be for lunches probably not lunches actually i'm going to pop them in the freezer in case with barbecues with those burgers just a few little biscuits for the children i actually have a few too many treats here because i forgot the fact that we're off and um we'll probably be out and about with ice creams and things then just um a few froggles for the children to have and then oh again that brand yeah so they have loads of these it's all not stuff basically so um 
sweet chili crisps and they're the ridge cut crisps which I like so I thought I'd give those a go and then they were only a pound that's so good for those the barbecue marshmallows that's quite a huge bag um, I don't think this week we'll be melting her toasted marshmallows but handy to have in the cupboard and then I love at the minute because Lidl's always does um, like little giveaways and things it's always children orientated these are the little seed pots and they're all different you can grow herbs and I think a couple are rocket in there so they give those away at the minute and they're all pre-done so you literally just pop the seeds for the children love those and then um sea salt crackers they're just for like pesto and you know kind of snacky lunches oh and then nearly forgot about these cereals so just to have in the cupboards again i am a wee bit more lax with breakfast with the children in the summer they get away with a bit more then so um rice crispy snaps and malt wheaties the malt wheaties are actually really good if your children want, don't want to go for their normal porridge or whatever they're really good um and high in fiber those ones and they still like them and think they're a nice cereal but obviously rice krispies aren't the best in the world then um we got a melon as well. So I think they're about two pound at the minute um, and they always love melon. So then I had to pop into Iceland mainly because they were out of tortilla wraps in Littles and I also needed prawns. So tortilla wraps, they are for the tacos and like I said, I do them in the Yorkshire pudding. So I'll probably do that in the video for you. I thought I'd maybe make my own nan for the red Thai curry and then I thought, no, I'll not be bothered with that. I'll just pick those up. They were only 50p for two naan bread. So we'll have that along rice. And then we've got a quite a lot of cheese, but um, just for lunches or if we're making a pizza, the smoked salami and cheese. And because the date's quite good and that would have to worry. Then a pack of prawns. I think that's probably about 300 grams. And um, that will be for the paella. And then also I could do like a salad or whatever for the children. I'm not a big seafood eater, um, but the children love it. So we always pick it up. Olives just for snacking. I'm trying to get baby pearl used to the olives at the minute and then the cherries were only a pound they look lovely we'll probably have them this evening and then um oh yeah this this is what I always have to pick up for the boys if you have little Paw Patrol fans in your house these are great literally they're, they're quite small um ice cream lollies so six pack of those and they're two pound on their own or you can get two for four pounds so I picked up haven't had these ones for them before but um, so 12 ice lollies for three pound is quite good. But what I would say is if you're picking those up, they melt really quickly, very, very quick. They're very soft ice cream. So you don't really, my journey from it is about 15 minutes. So that's just about the cutoff. And then I forgot in the back, they were on offer the McCain French fries just to have as a backup with the fish or something. And they were 125, I think. And then these little milk slices for the children, the set of four, and they were for a pound. They haven't had those before, so got them those. These were on offer, the Nescafe Gold Vanilla Lattes. They were pound fifty. And then I've seen these everywhere at the minute. The Butterfinger Cups and their Nestle, and they were half price 75p. And does it say four, four to share? Don't know what they're like, if they're biscuits or whatever, but got those. So a lot of these things will have to go in the cupboard. Not be all week. And then I seen this and this put me in the mood for summer. Sangria fruit mix, £1.50. If you're ever doing smoothies, their smoothie packs are brilliant. Um, but yes, I just thought, yeah, maybe try out a wee sangria. But that is, yeah, I think that's everything. There's maybe something in the um freezer, but I think that's everything. So in total, under £130 with our waffle maker, and I say there's a good lot of meals in there but I will obviously be doing all my top ups but um hopefully you enjoyed the video if so make sure to subscribe and give it a wee thumbs up thanks very much for watching guys bye